We'll be headed to the country of Switzerland, where there's over 100 golf courses on the dot to look at, bringing you the top 10 golf courses. And you would guess it, there's some incredible golf on this list. So let's, without further ado, get right into it, zooming on in to number 10 here to start us off. And what we like to do is give a little bit of Google Earth and then tie that in to hopefully some amazing drone footage of the golf course just like here and this course packs a punch and it doesn't even look that great on google map but then when you see the drone footage whoa the course is well known for its scenic backdrops on majority of its holes it's considered a parkland style course that's open to the public it stretches along 6155 meters with a slope of 126, the course is a par 72 and has a rating of 72.6. This course has a ton of history, just like the other ones on our list, being built in 1970 by Ron Furman. It also has clubhouse, driving range, a golf school academy, pros, and the price is pretty reasonable for the other golf courses when you compare them to the other golf courses on our list here. With green fees going up to about 101 euro. That's, that's a pretty beautiful golf course with some nice little lakes and just well kept as you can see. And a lot of these golf courses have a lot of charm within it. And that's one of the reasons we decided to, to wait for this country. And we've hit all the other countries. So take a look at our channel as we continue to bring you the top 10 golf courses in every country around the world. You can see just from the scenic views what you're dealing with here. It's kind of a beautiful valley. Whoa. Well, that's now going to slowly bring us and twist us and turn into number nine here. And Switzerland has a lot to offer, another public golf course on this list. It's a par 72, and the course stretches 6,150 meters long. Not to jump into any conclusions, the course has a slope of 136, with a rating of 73.5 now these courses compared to the last course on our list this course is extremely new being built 101 years later this course here was built in 2001 construction started in the late 90s and it was built and designed by golf architect Jerry Flint but Blinn it's got a golf school academy driving range a lot to offer here just to kind of get just started and um, the price is definitely right as well with green fees ranging a little bit north of a hundred euros and let's not kid ourselves we're not going to try to keep a lot of the prices in this video because it's so expensive there in switzerland hopefully we'll get out there and play later on in this channel well we're going to zoom in to number eight where there's 36 holes to choose from we're going to give it to the lake side course but let's just kind of go through each one of these holes now starting off at the lake side course it's only a par 70 and it follows the natural terrain um, of you know that area and then you have the wood side course which is 18 holes and that's a par 72 I will say both look to be a resort style course open to the public and we couldn't find the best footage of the lake style course so we're going to get out of there because most importantly we got some real good footage moving forward so let's go in to number seven here on our list a course that really does not need an introduction because it's been ranked a top public or the top golf course year in and year out uh, you know top four golf digest and this course it was built in 1929 so it has a ton of history and it's just outside the city 
Uh, it's, a, it's a private golf club built in 1929 with a British tradition and values of sportsmanship, friendliness, um, and prestige. If you want to play from those back tees, you're looking at 6,563 yards for a par of 71. It's got pretty decent reviews and it's considered a top 10 golf course year in and year out um, in Switzerland. So that's going to make our number seven here on this list. It's important to note this is an opinionated list and we're going to be constantly going back and updating these lists. We want to get a little bit of everything, some Google Maps because you can't hide from that. And then also give you a little bit of drone footage as we travel the world and bring you the top golf courses in each country. So we're closely getting to the top five, but without one more, we have to look at number six. So let's zoom on in to number six on our list. The course is one of our public golf courses on this list available for you to play. And it's got a lot of history being built in 1928. It also was built by famous golf designer H.S. Colt. It is a par 72 that stretches along 5,948 meters. The course has a slope of 129 and a rating of 71.2. It has a golf season and pretty reasonable green fees associated with it as well. A great public golf course if you're in the area and looking to play. And just to clarify, the course was originally built as a nine-hole golf course uh, in 1920s, and then in 1957 is when Harry H. Harry S. Colt and a couple of his friends built another nine holes there to put it all together into an incredible 18-hole golf course with uh, picturesque mountainsides and just one of those uh, golf courses you want to get on your list of top golf courses to play. And as we move in to the top five golf courses left in the country it's important to note we'll be using your comments down below to be updating these videos periodically so let's zoom on in to number five on our list another public golf course it looks like it has some lidar so we got some great footage uh, on google earth but this course stretches along 6100 and 97 yards. It has a ton of a slope of 136 and a rating of 60.8. course was built in 1921 so it's got a ton of history. We were able to find some old footage, some new footage. There's the ground crew there just putting together an incredible golf course. It's built by Jerry Pear in he had some updates. Not, it wasn't built by him, but he had some major updates in 1996 with this golf course. And they te they keep a great, prestigious golf course nonetheless. It's been ranked a top golf course year in and year out throughout Switzerland. And we're going to put it at number five on our list here of top golf courses. It's considered one of the most beautiful golf courses throughout the country. And green fees go for about 130 euros, which is pretty reasonable. When you run the numbers of top golf courses in most countries, then alone a country like Switzerland, a very picturesque Parkland style course to break our list in half. And just like that, we have four more golf courses to take a look at as we continue to bring you the top golf courses throughout the country. And number four is another course that packs a punch. If you don't agree with it, let us know. And zoom in to number four here in the valley, which is listed as another public golf course here. This one's a little bit newer, being built in 2001 by Peter Hennerinth. It's a public course that's a par 71 let's roll that footage here and you can see right off the bat why we put it at number four here on our list an incredible course stretching about 6255 meters long it's listed as parkland style course and i can see why it's that it's got a driving range and a lot of other amenities to kind of get you started throughout your round it also has a slope of 136 and the course has a rating of 73.4.
It's located there in a valley, and you have some incredible backdrops. But most importantly, you got some of the best golf you could probably play throughout the world. It's got a golf academy. It's got rivers and streams cutting through that course dramatically. If you've played this course and you think it should be a little bit higher on this list, let us know because we're starting to think as we make updates, this is one of those courses we want to take a look at and maybe push it over the edge to one of the top three golf courses throughout the country. It's been ranked a top golf course on Golf Digest, Golf Now, and other major golf outlets. But on this list, we're going to put it at number four. It's important to note we're going to be constantly updating this list periodically, and we'll be using your comments down below to be making those updates. So let's zoom on out because we still have three impressive golf courses to take a look at. And if we were to stop right now, one would say we have an incredible list of golf courses that one would play. So let's zoom on into another bucket list golf course right here that's going to put us at number three. And this course does have LiDAR as well, so we can get a little bit closer than we typically can with some of these golf courses. It's listed as a private golf course, unfortunately, but it is a par 72, stretching 6,000. 237 meters. The course has a slope of 135 and a course rating of 73.3. It's got a little bit of history being built in 1973 by Robert Trent Jones Sr. pushing it over the edge to give us our number three on this list. And had some updates in the late 2000s but for the most part is arguably one of the better golf courses within the country. So that is now going to move us into the top two golf courses left to look at. If you've liked this list so far, you might like a lot about the next golf course being built in 1906. This course was just an absolute historical golf course uh, built by Harry Nicholson and has a total of four tee box to choose from and with the back tees stretching about 6,341 yards with a rating of 73.1. It's a major update in 1999 and it's uh, you got I guess the Jack Nicholson course which was open for play in 1988 there at the par 35 so there's another course there as well outside of this uh, championship course that we pushed over our list. This room, it's important to note that if you made it this far, let us know what we're getting right and what we're getting wrong with these top 10 golf course lists. We're going to be constantly updating and we're going to be using your feedback to make those changes. So let's take a look now at our number one golf course in the country. considered to be the Pine Valley of Switzerland, and that does say a lot. This course is our number one course for the country and there's a lot of reasons why well most importantly it's been hosting a lot of ch major championships and it's also a Pete Dye course built in 1998 it's a forest style course it's really deep in there and it has a rating of 70.8 and a slope of 122 the course has a total of four tee boxes to choose from, and it doesn't really play that far, but Clubhouse and everything just kind of gives it the elite status as a top golf course year in and year out. And it's unfortunate to say that this is a private golf course, and we won't be playing there anytime soon unless we know some members. And that's typically how it is for these top golf courses around the world. Some of those number one golf courses are just not open to the private public. They're private. But we try to bring you as much as we can. And we might even go back and do a top 10 public golf courses. If you like that, let us know in the comment section. That's going to do it for our list of the top 10 golf courses throughout Switzerland. If you're not playing golf, at least watch some of these videos. Go fly. Or vice versa. Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch.